Hi, Mom. Hi, it's Miracle Mom and Michael. Hello, everyone. That's Miracle Mom, that picture right there, 20 years ago from a family reunion. And I'm Michael, and I'm about the age you were. I'm, well, actually, you're in this picture, you're like 55. Something like that. In that picture? Yeah. Well, it was in two, 2000. Yeah, 2000. 2000. Yeah. So. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah, I would have been 56. All right. Well, I'm 50. There. I, I put it out there. I'm 50. So, <laughs> you're closer to my age in that picture than you are now. We're like brother and sister here. All right. Enough of that. So, if you watched our previous segment uh, titled... John 20, 6 and 7, where mom uh, is talking about John, uh, James and, or Peter and John arriving at the tomb and seeing the folded up linen next to where Jesus' body had been. I put out a tease saying, I don't think the resurrection was the greatest miracle, which is borderline blasphemy. In fact... I would go as far as to say the resurrection wasn't a miracle at all. Okay. I'm thinking. <laughs> are you are you worried about your son that I've that I've have gone over into no. apostasy no. and hypocrisy? No, no, no. No. But I'm I'm already <laughs> thinking I've nailed it down. Oh? You think you think you know what the answer is? Well, okay, from from my perspective, if it wasn't, you know, the resurrection, the greater miracle was <clears throat> when we read in the book of Acts about Jesus sending the Holy Spirit. To the disciples. That's a good one. Okay, but that's not what I'm thinking of. <laughs> that, well, I mean... If that, if that had not happened, Christianity would have gone no... When you stop and think about it. Christianity wouldn't have, wouldn't have what? Gone anywhere in the world. Right. They were... Which gave them the power to spread the gospel. Yes, right? that's right. The, the Spirit came upon them to empower them and that is a great miracle <laughs> all right <laughs> this is good Come on, tell us. this is good all right all right I won't, I won't keep you hanging all right so in my thought process here it's it has to do with jesus you know the final moments and then the, there? i'm here can you hear me can you hear me uh, you cut out there. All right. You were cutting in and out too, but the camera hears me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but I don't want you to miss this. So if you miss it, uh, let me know if you're missing anything. Okay. I would say, so what was God's original plan? Um, for creating humans his original plan right in the beginning populate the earth right he created all things he created this incredible garden and i would i would say the earth you know i do believe the garden of eden is a very specific you know there's a perimeter there's a region that, that was the garden of eden but i would say it's expanded like he said be fruitful and multiply which meant take you know fill this entire planet so i I look at the earth as the garden. The original plan was this gorgeous place to live. And then for us, you know, he's like makes humans, puts them, us in the garden and says, all right, now name everything and be a gardener, right? That's the plan to be a gardener of the planet and to do that forever, right? Uh -huh. And so sin interrupted that plan temporary yeah. temporarily so the intent was that adam and eve and all of their offspring would live forever as eternal gardeners of the planet correct 
Correct. And then sin comes and this 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 nagging thing called death is introduced into God's plan. And then he comes in the form of Jesus, also referred to as the second Adam. So the first Adam failed. The second Adam was come, has come to succeed. And what does it say in Romans? Uh, is it 3.23 or 6.23? I forget which one. I think it's 3.23. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So f- for Jesus, who knew no sin, right? Right. He knew no sin. So the miracle here is that a sinless being died. Right? Yes. <laughs> So the miracle was not his resurrection. It was the fact that he died in the first place. That's what defeated death. This miracle of him dying is what defeated death. Eternal life is the goal, is the plan all along. Adam and Eve, all the way. And anyone who who follows in Jesus' footsteps, anyone who believes in him, believes in the resurrection. He came to this woman at the well and... You know, I won't go into the details of the story. He knew everything about her. She had five husbands and she was living with a guy that wasn't even her husband. And she was like, how do you know all this stuff about me? And he's like, well, you know, I'm this, I'm the living water. You drink from this well, you will never thirst again. Give me that water, she says. And he, he says, I am that water. And she's like, well, we're, we're believe, I believe in the resurrection. The resurrection is coming. And Jesus says what? I am the resurrection. And this is a, you know, a Samaritan woman or a Sumerian woman. And so Jesus himself is the resurrection. He, and so those who believe in him and follow him will never die. And I, I asked my son this question. I goes, what is an immortal? What does it mean to be immortal? Have I asked you that question? Um, no. What is an immortal? Well, you and I are, oh, immortal. I'm thinking mortal. Mm. <clears throat> well, like dictionary definition. If you're immortal, you don't die. That is the most common, most commonly understood definition of immortal. I would say it's actually slightly different than that. It's not that you'd never die. An immortal is a person who is not intended to die, but if they do, it's just temporary. Yeah, I understand. Right? So immortality or being immortal doesn't mean you never die. It just means that if you do die, it's only temporary, which means, and I want to do a whole nother segment on this at another time, but there's a a verse I have to find where it is. I think it's Paul. I think it's in Corinthians, first or second Corinthians, where he says kind of as an aside or kind of like a secret, not all will fall asleep. In other words, there's a day when there will be people on the planet who will never die. And so all believers in Christ are immortals but that doesn't mean we won't die. It means we might die. But if we do, it's just temporary. Right. So does that make sense how I don't think the resurrection was the actual miracle? He wasn't supposed to die. It was a natural state of him of being for him to be alive and eternal. So the miracle was that sinless flesh died. The wages of... Sin- no. Sinless blood had, right. had to be sacrificed. That was God's intention. It, it took... See, I'm not sure if it, if, if it was the flesh. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Right. And, and Jesus' blood was sinless. And that's what God required to fix the sin problem. 
Amen. Does that make sense? Good preaching, Mom. Well, see, we, we look at the cross and we see the body and we see the torture and we see the awfulness in front of us. Is anybody thinking about the blood? The blood. Well, Jesus' flesh also was sinless, but God, because he's God, required sinless sacrifice and Jesus became that sacrificial lamb it's his blood that he shed I would say it's the well, here's, is on this same subject the blood is the rarest substance ever the blood of Jesus not just blood but the blood oh, of Jesus yeah. and because sinless blood, there was no other sinless blood. There is. You know what I wonder? I wonder if I've always asked myself, being a nurse, if we had the ability to take a sample of Jesus' blood and put it under a microscope, what would we see? <laughs> right, because That's no, just, you know. No one is it, right in our day of technology. You know, we, it's like, oh, that'd be interesting. To, I, I'm certain it would have properties that n no one had ever detected before. Right. Um, all right. That was a good, I think that was a, a, a good. Uh, I well, didn't mean to interrupt you, but. No, you didn't actually. Um, I'm going to slate again. Okay. Uh, I'm still figuring out how the the flow of this goes. I don't, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna slate 